key mindsets to adopt to become more disciplined. I wish I can tell you that becoming more disciplined is just a simple matter of deciding to be disciplined. It would be so easy if that were the case. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. You may have certain mindsets that you may not be aware of that can get in the way of you becoming a more disciplined person. That's right. You might be sabotaging yourself because you hang on to certain ideas, assumptions, or expectations that can undermine your progress towards greater levels of self-discipline. You need to adopt the following mindsets so they can either counteract whatever negative mindsets you have, or they can turbocharge your ability to develop discipline. Discipline is like a mental muscle. Please understand that for your personal level of self-discipline to increase, you have to challenge it. You can't just say, I'm going to be a more disciplined person and refuse to put it into action. That's not going to work, not in a million years. You have to stress your level of discipline. For example, if you're having a tough time showing up to work on time, you can't just slide back and say, well, it's not going to happen. You're not exercising your disciplined mental muscles when you do that. Instead, you try again and again to show up on time. Once you're able to do that, you step it up by trying to show up five minutes ahead of time, then 10 minutes, then 15 minutes. The more you stress or put pressure on your ability to act in a disciplined way, the stronger it becomes. The worst thing that you can do is to fail to challenge whatever discipline you already have. The more I run away from difficult things, the weaker my discipline becomes. You have to adopt this mindset. You have to understand that when you react to your world out of fear, you become a less disciplined person. In many cases, you don't even develop discipline in the first place. You have to understand that there are a lot of scary things in life. There are a lot of things that you'd rather not deal with. However, that's what makes life so interesting. You have to lose your fear. You have to stop viewing these things as inconveniences, hassles, or things I hate to do. Instead, you should turn around and embrace them. Sure, they are very inconvenient. Sometimes they're downright uncomfortable, but guess what? The more you do them, the more you get used to them. Most importantly, the more you do them, the more you're able to connect the dots and you're able to do more of them. That's how you become more efficient. That's how you become a more effective person. Unfortunately, if you make it a habit to continuously give in to quitting, the weaker you become. You have to understand that in this life, you're going to be facing different challenges. If your number one instinct is to turn around and quit, you become a weaker person. Eventually, don't be surprised if it doesn't take much for you to want to quit. This is why you have to turn things around. You have to make this process go in the other direction. In other words, it would take harder and harsher circumstances for you to take a step back. That's the direction you should go because when you do that, you increase your levels of discipline, but you also maximize your levels of personal confidence and competence. When most people would rather deal with a problem by just giving up or kicking the can down the road, you stand out like a hero when you're the only person looking to tackle that problem. Please understand that this applies across the board. I'm not just talking about issues that you face at work or at school. This can also involve your relationships. The more I do things, the better I get at them. It may not seem like it at this point in time, but you're actually building up competence the more you do something. Seriously. For example, if you make it a habit to walk around your block every single day, I can guarantee you that you're probably seeing different ways to make your daily routine more pleasant. You're probably seeing different details that you can benefit from. Simple repetition gives you all sorts of opportunities to do a better job. Again, this applies across the board. This is due to the fact that the more you do something, the less intimidated you become. Do you remember the first time you rode a bicycle? Chances are you bruised or scraped your knees constantly. After all, you were learning. However, at a certain point, you mastered your bike riding skills, and it will take quite a bit of a hit for you to get thrown off your bike. You probably went through this process without looking at the big picture. It was just something you thought you had to do. Well, assume that same attitude when it comes to the big things in life that are stressing you out. Apply this same attitude to the things that you would rather quit on. Another fact that you can take comfort in is the reality that the more you do something, the more routine it becomes. The reason people fail with certain tasks is because they're intimidated by them. They think that it's going to be too hard, that it will take too much time, or it's just too hard to figure out. However, the more you do something, regardless of how many times you fail, you take a lot of the emotional intimidation out. It becomes familiar and, once it starts to become routine, you start breaking things down and guess what? You start succeeding more often than your failures. Eventually, you reach a point where you basically get those results that you're looking for time after time. This really all boils down to the ability to connect the dots and see patterns. 
Unfortunately, you're not going to get there if your number one instinct is to give up. Adopt the mindset of, the more I do things, the better I get at them, and you will become a more competent person in many areas of your life. Competence produces confidence. In U.S. educational institutions and school districts, the idea of self-esteem as the gateway to confidence has been the received institutional wisdom for several decades now. The idea is if you make kids feel good about themselves, eventually they will become more competent. Eventually, they will be able to figure things out and achieve. Well, it turns out that it's actually the other way around. According to research studies in the 1990s, when children become competent in something or anything, they become more confident. When they're more confident, they experiment more, and they try harder, and they increase their levels of competence. It turns out that competence produces confidence, which enables people to develop even higher levels of competence. Confidence does not flow from self-esteem. Instead, self-esteem flows from competence. Understand how this works. Adopt this mindset. Let's face it, you may not be all that confident about certain things in your life right now. However, the more you master them, the more competent you become. You will then feel more confident to tackle more things and go out on a limb in many areas of your life. The more confident you become, the more you try, and the more competence you build. This leads to even more confidence, so on and so forth. You just need to start somewhere, and this means doing. You may think that you would do a lousy job today, but that's okay. You have to start somewhere. The good news is, as long as you choose to put in the work to become competent, the confidence will follow. Momentum is on my side. Believe that momentum is on your side. If you believe this, you will eventually reach a point where it becomes harder and harder for you to stop than to start. I know this sounds crazy at this point. At this point, you're probably having a tough time staying from foods that you know are bad for you and sticking to foods that don't taste all that good. The good news is the more you stick to it, the easier it becomes over time. In fact, you could reach a point of momentum where it becomes harder to stop your behavior than to start. All it takes is to keep trying and to keep on pushing. When this becomes your routine, this action changes the way you look at things and the way you feel about things. This eventually becomes part of your identity. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.